Hey guys, so Apple just released their three new absolutely groundbreaking Macs, all with Apple Silicon, especially the M1 chip right here. These three Macs are so much more power efficient, so much faster, and the prices are either cheaper or the same as before. Sure, there aren't no new redesigns, physically at least. However, the insides are really what matters for most people. All in all, these three Macs are very important. However, in this video, we will only be talking about the MacBook Air, since there is so much to talk about here. Let's get started. So the MacBook Air is supercharged by the M1 chip, and it starts at $1,000. In the event, Apple said it would feature eight CPU cores, eight GPU cores, meaning that it has five times faster graphics than the old one. It features up to 18 hours of battery life, six more hours than the previous version. 18 hours. Imagine that. Imagine using your computer for 18 hours. It's a MacBook Air. It's this thin. It's so light. No fans. 18 hours. And because it has no fan, it means it has no noise. And this actually is kind of funny. It's called the MacBook Air. However, no air goes in and out of the device. So MacBook Air, is it really air if no air goes in and out? Next, the MacBook Air is up to nine times faster for most activities like photo editing, video editing, and for those things. Basically, the performance of this is parallel to MacBook Pros from last year or even now. However, the MacBook Pro released today will of course be faster than the MacBook Air. Another thing is that because this MacBook Air uses Apple Silicon, it can natively run all of the iOS apps. So you will be able to run iPhone and iPad apps natively on the computer, such as Among Us or Minecraft PE. It comes standard with eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, and it's Apple SSD storage, so it's blazing fast. And the True Tone display is actually better than before. So now it features P3 color gamut, which is the same as last year's MacBook Pro. It looks amazing, like the display, there's no complaints. Finally, it still features Touch ID. It features the Magic Keyboard, so not Butterfly. That should be more reliable for most people. And also two Thunderbolt ports. These Thunderbolt ports are actually USB 4. So expect amazing speeds from these. There are two versions of the MacBook Air actually. One is the standard model and one is the upgraded model. But the standard model costs $1,000 to start and the upgraded version costs $1,250. With the upgrade, you get still eight gigabytes of memory, double the storage, so 512 gigs. Also, the CPU and GPUs are bumped up. You get eight core CPU, eight core GPU, and 16 core neural engine. But for the standard one, you only get eight cores of CPU, seven cores of GPU and 16 cores of neural engine. So you get one more GPU core and double the storage for an extra $250. If you think that's worth it for you, then go ahead. For me though, if I were to get this device, I would probably go for the cheaper version and upgrade the RAM. Now, this is Apple Silicon, so you might not have to upgrade RAM. Apple's chips are known to be very RAM efficient. So if you don't want to upgrade the RAM, then maybe don't, it's totally up to you but upgrading to 16 gigs of RAM costs $200 if you're interested. The MacBook Air does support up to two terabytes of storage if you add $800. So another 800 gets you two terabytes of SSD storage. Finally, the power adapter it comes with is a 30 watt USB-C power adapter and a two meter long USB-C cable. So that's about it. If you're interested in this device, then yeah, go ahead. In my opinion, this is a amazing buy. And even just the base model $1,000 version works totally fine. If you're a student in university or college, you can actually get another $100 discount. So for $899, you can get this amazing device. I think there's no point in picking up an older Mac now if you have the money to buy this one. And if you want to get the MacBook Pro, I will have a video about that. You can just go to my channel page and find that video. That's about it. If you have any more questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.